Hi YouTube, so I'm going to be doing um, a video today, and this video is going to be called um, Things You Can Do When You Feel Blue, and that um, 10 Things That Matter More. So the first thing, um, the very first tip I have is your family and your friends. Your family and your friends are one of the main things you should think about when you have suicidal thoughts, and if you want, um, if you just don't want to be here, think of your family, think of your friends, think how they would feel if you left, and I would feel pretty terrible if, um, a family member or something, like, didn't want to be here, they had suicidal thoughts every day, so, yeah. Um, also, everyone's life everyone's life you're impacted um basically what that means is like everyone's life around you is going to be impacted and affected and um yeah and they're also going to be devastated if you were gone so just try and think that your family and your friends and oh, no oh my god i just ripped this off Okay, anyway, um, but, um, yeah, so just think of your family and your friends and how they would feel and everyone's life you're, you've impacted and they'd be devastated if you were gone. Um, number two, you have your whole life ahead of you, things might get better and you'll be glad you're still here. So what I'm basically saying about that is, like, if you do have suicidal thoughts, just think of, um, that you have your whole life ahead of you, and, um, things might get better, you know, if you're having a terrible time at home, or, um, <coughs> and you have suicidal thoughts because of it, things might get better in the future, and, whatever, and, um, in the future, if things do get better, you'll, you'll be glad that you're still here, so, um, if you've ever seen Cyberbully, that's kind of what that second tip tells you, that you're glad you're still here, so, if you haven't seen Cyberbully, go watch it. It's a good movie. Number three. You still have hopes. That's why you haven't given up. Don't lose that hope. Um, everyone has hopes. Everyone has dreams. And if you if you have a hope, if you have a dream, then um, don't give that up. And don't give that up just because you have to without thoughts. Because that's not going to... That's not going to help, because then you're just ruining your thoughts and dreams and your hopes that maybe one of your hopes is you want to date a guy, but you're fighting right now. Or maybe your hope is that, um, <coughs> you want to meet a band someday. Don't give those hopes up just so you can die. Number four, the world is much bigger than this town. Basically what that's saying is the world is much bigger and, um, than this town. I live in a town, and the world's much bigger than this, and, um, you don't want to give, <coughs> <coughs> you don't want to give up the world for that. I don't know what that kind of is saying, but, um, because this is what, kind of what my, my sister wrote down, so, um, I'm kind of just reading off of this, but, yeah. Number five, I have it so much better than some people. I have food, clothes, a home, and wonderful family. <coughs> <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. But, um, just think of the people that don't have food, that don't have clothes, that don't have a home, that don't have a family. Just think of those people when you have those thoughts. Um, it may help you, it may not. It may just make you feel worse. But, um... Just think, you have a roof over your head, you have a family that loves you, you have food every day, you have clothes that go over you, just be happy and just try and just, you just have it much better than the people in the Philippines and just think about those thoughts. Number six, there's millions of books I have yet to read. Do you really want to go before you know what happens? Basically, what that's saying is, I bet you you guys have millions and millions of books to read. Um, like, I want to read this one, because Anna read it, my friend Anna. 
and it's called You Against Me by Jenny Downham, and it's really good, and it's the more, my, um, it's the, uh, my main, like, library in my school. I was almost about to say my thing there. Um, but, yeah, I really want to read this book, and it's, um, 19.95 in, like, Canada price. I don't know how much it would be in yours, but I really want to read this book, and I don't want to go before I know what happens, so, um, just think of that. Number seven, I can have, I can name someone who loves me. Name people that love you if you have those thoughts. Name people, like, if you have a boyfriend, name him that he loves you and he didn't want, he doesn't want you to leave. Name your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncles, your dog. Anybody that loves you, just name them and maybe you'll feel better. Eight, I am not alone. That's true. Um, my next tip is just say, you're not, just, just tell yourself, I'm not alone. Um, and you have so many people there for you. You have so many people that you can talk to, that you can go to, and, um, like, for example, for me, I have so many people I can talk to and go to if I need someone to be there for me, or if I just need to talk, and, um, I have so many people. I've lost one, and I don't want to lose one, another one. Um, I just love so many people, and I just don't want to lose one person, like, okay, I lost a friend, and this, just this past week, and I don't want to lose another one, I'm not going to go into detail, if you want that, I might make a video another after this, just telling you about, like, why I haven't been making videos, it's because I've been working with friends, and, um, trying to work things out, so, basically what I'm trying to say is just, you can just say you're not alone, you have so many people that you can go talk to if you have a problem. Number nine, you're capable of so much, don't give up on a life of endless potential. Basically what that means is that, um, just don't give up because of a stupid little reason. Don't give up because your sister called you a whore. Don't give up because your friend called you fat and ugly. Don't give up. Um, just don't. You are so much capable, so much, and I don't think if... For example, say if my friend Christine died, or she wanted to kill herself, and she killed herself, and I would be so happy, I, w I mean, <laughs> I would be so sad, because um, she gave up on a little thing, and it's really terrible to know that some of those people go through so much, and um, like Megan Todd, or Amanda Todd, not Megan Todd, Amanda Todd, she got, she gave up because of people, and she gave up because what happened over her, and, um, like, what happened in her life, and it got all over the place, and she killed herself because she couldn't handle it, and I know how that might feel, like, I don't know how it potentially feels, like, how it would feel to have a daughter or have a kid that kills himself, I don't know how that feels because I never had a kid, but... I know it would probably be very depressing for the parents. Number 10, Disney movies always make things a bit better. Um, I smile at this because Disney movies are one of the most amazing things and that can help you feel better. Um, not only that, but like your friends can make you feel better. Like even a little bit of a hug. A hug can do anyone good. A hug is like... When you're down, have you ever had those days where you're really down and a hug, you, all you need is a hug. That's it. That's all you need and you'll be fine. That's, some of those days are really tough because you don't have anyone to give you a hug. And Disney movies are like a big hug from the heart. And Disney movies basically hug your heart and it's amazing what Disney movies can do. They're just so comforting and so nice and I just love it so that's basically what you can do um basically this video is going to just be called 10 things that matter more things that help you if you have thoughts 
suicidal thoughts. These are the stuff that can help you. Um, I, I love you guys, and it would be terrible to think that one of my subscribers are going through such a rough time, and they just want to die, and I, 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 I don't know what I would do, like, I don't know, I've never been in that position, like, I've had thoughts, and I've had those types of thoughts before, everyone goes through that phase, and they have those thoughts, but, it would just be terrible to be one of those people that have thoughts every day about it. And I don't mean, like, just once a day, like, every day, like, I don't know. So, that is the little video, and if you're wondering if this book is just, um, it's called the Mickey Mouse, um, Registered Office Book, and it's by the brand Motive Design. No. Innovative Designs. So, I don't know what that word says. Innov innovative? I don't know. It's right there. But, I don't know what that word says. If you guys can read it, then good. But, I don't know what that word says. So, it's just Mickey Mouse and... I don't know, so, um, if you are having a hard time, or you are having one of those days, and just, um, know that there's so many people out there, and there's so many people that may can connect with you, and maybe they're going through the same thing, just try and be happy. So, that's my video, and I'm going to be doing another video after this, um, to kind of tell you what happened. Um, because I did kind of talk about it in this video, but I didn't want to go into too much detail, but, um, I'm just going to kind of tell you what happened, so, um, that will be a whole, whole other video, but, um, yeah, I wrote him a note, but I'm not going to show that because it's kind of personal, but, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video somewhat, I hope it helped you, and thanks for watching, I guess, I don't know, so, um, I guess we'll talk to you in my next video, which will be my winter nail polishes, because it's, like, basically winter now where I live. There's been snow on the ground already, so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will talk to you in my next video, so, yeah, bye guys.